God showed me something about the nation of Zambia that's very sensitive. I saw a thick cloud. It doesn't look dark. It doesn't look white. I can't describe the meaning of this cloud. But the signs of this cloud doesn't look pleasant. We have to pray for Zambia, a great nation, for God to keep the legacies of the founding fathers. Something big. Something that will keep men wondering. I've always said this to the president of Zambia, His Excellency, that watch your back. And I will repeat it again. There are too many Judases around you. Even Jesus with one Judas even stumble. Amongst more, having more than one Judas. Spend time to watch your house than to watch the camp of your enemy. The camp of your enemy is not your problem. There's betrayer. Be careful. There's one factor you should watch is betrayer. Let's pray for the nation of Zambia. The forthcoming election that the will of God will prevail. Open your mouth. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm still coming back in a few weeks to talk about the nation of Zambia. In clear terms, you can fight a prophet or you can fight the voice of a prophet, which is the voice of God. I will speak in clear terms. You know me, when it comes to the issue of what God speaks to me, I don't look at face. I will speak in clear terms. Whether you love me, whether you don't love me, it doesn't move me. The most important thing is the voice of God. The nation of Zambia, you have to hear what God is saying. The coming weeks, keep watching Champions TV. I will tell you the voice of God. And I will say it in a clear terms. Not, not mendling words. I will speak to you black and white.